Right, we're beginning. Sit comfortably, cross legs. Relax down through the knees and allow the sides of the waist to ascend. Broaden the collarbones so that the armpit chest starts to open. So I want you to think today that here and here, Gita would call them the eyes of your chest. All right, so we want nice open eyes. So open your eyes, yeah? And notice how much brighter you feel. Now we want your chest to feel a little brighter. So open your chest and then just relax the shoulders down and then close the upper lid down to the lower lid. Let yourself sit and find that space where you feel pelvis is balanced, sides of the waist are balanced, the rib cage is balanced over that and the shoulders are balanced over that. Once you've checked all of those things, there's a tendency that there's an energy going upwards. So now from the sides, just below the ears, sides of the neck, let the skin release down out across the shoulders. And then let the breath become broad and wide. Allow the crown of the head to ascend and allow the shoulders to relax and just slacken the lower jaw a little so there's no tension in and around the head. Observe your breath, observe your body and just sit for a few moments peacefully. Lift up through the heart, bow down through the head. Open the eyes and raise the face. Change across of your legs. Teresa, do you use a wall or anything for your practice or are you happy in the centre? Oh, yeah. Are you an honest answer? Yeah. You, okay, good. <laughs> Some people say I'm happy, but they're actually like, well, I don't want to make a fuss. Interlace the fingers, push the palms away, relax the shoulders. So draw those shoulders back and then find again that balance point for your neck. Often we'll poke the head forwards. So now take the arms up, try not to disturb the head. Stay looking directly forwards towards the horizon. Lift up. Roz, elbows in. Yes. Your mum's elbows are better. Go on, elbows in. Elbows in. Elbows in. That's better. Breathe. And then exhale, lower the arms down. Change the interlace of the fingers. It'll feel like you're holding hands with someone else. Have you got it? Does it feel odd? Yeah. Good. Push the palms away. Look at your arms and tuck those elbows in. Now pretend that your arms, your elbows are really naughty so you can't take your eyes off them but look directly forwards as you do it. So stay looking directly forwards, but keep your eyes on your elbows. Eyes on the elbows, just internally eyes, not... <laughs> That's better, Roz. Can you feel how they're working differently now? Yep. Open up the armpits, open up the eyes of your chest, lengthen the sides of the waist, and then exhale, lower the arms down. First cross of the legs again. Lift through the chest. Exhale, turn to your right. Look over your right shoulder. Levelize the shoulders. So just check at the collarbones level. Breathe. Keep the weight even in the buttock bones. Exhale, come back to center. Change across of the legs. Go tall. Turn to the second side. Open and widen the collarbones, shoulder blades deep into the back. That's better, Neil. Breathe.
and then exhale, release. Right, we've got um, Supta Swastikasan next. Okay, so if I show you, I'm gonna leave my feet off my mat only because I've got my shoes on. So you don't need to be, so you're here. We're gonna do it from lying down. Oh, it's still gonna go on my mat, never mind. Pull your feet in. Can you see how I'm cupping the buttocks here? So there's a crease of your buttocks, feet are coming in, knees stay compact, legs come to here. All right, you're then going to take the elbows and clasp the elbows over the head. Really simple. And then when you go to come up, put your hands under the thighs, activate the feet, then we'll change across the legs and do exactly the same thing again, but then it's the opposite clasp of the elbow to bring the arms over the head. All right, there's a connection through the trunk. You don't want to disturb the trunk as you do it. Okay, uh, Teresa, just, I'm gonna be a bit of a mum for the time being. Anything that you know you can't do, you don't have to do, all right? Do you want an extra mat to go underneath you because it's a skinny one? Yeah? If you lift that one up, this one's a bit of a carpet. I bought it on eBay, not, ex not thinking it would have fabric on the top. So let's start. Oh no, you're already in, brilliant. <laughs> Whichever leg you've got in, just still keep the hips connected and keep an awareness that there's still space coming out across the buttocks and down through the legs. Relax the eyes, clasp the elbows and bring the arms up and over the head. Feel that there's a length going from the pubic area right up to the elbows, sides of the chest. And allow the ribs just to soften down a little bit, yes. And then we start to discover the stiffness in our shoulders. It's like that drawer that's nice and closed. <laughs> and then you need to get something out from it and you open it up and all the socks burst out because it's coming towards, no, it's not at all, it's so warm here. But then you realise you need to sort your sock drawer out. And then lower the arms down. Put your hands underneath the thighs. Just gently encourage the thighs to come up, make the feet active, draw the knees back in towards the chest, change across of the legs. Yep, pull the feet in and then let the legs come down, knees over the feet. Breathe. Clasp the elbows, but do the opposite clasp. So it's the one you won't naturally go to. And then take the arms over the head if you're not there already. Lengthen from the armpits to the elbows. The whole time you're thinking, can you lengthen from here as well? So you're looking to see what that's doing. Does that make sense? And then lower the arms down, hands underneath the thighs, draw those legs together and then bring the, the feet together, bring the ankles together, bring the knees together and just gently draw the knees in towards your chest. As you draw the knees in towards the chest, can you keep the knees together? Can you keep the ankles level? Can you make sure that the feet are also doing the same thing? Ankles together, knees together, shins together, feet soft. So not overly pointed unless that's completely soft. Ankles together. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your ankles? Are they touching? <laughs> okay, now you can cuddle the knees out wide. So this is in preparation for Adho Mukha Viras, and so let the ankle feet stay together this time, not too wide, just either side of the body. Again, so you can put your hands behind the backs of the knees, keep the feet together, behind the backs of the knees, Brendan. Look at me. That's it. You got it. How are your ribs? Okay. Easier? Yeah, yeah. And then bring the knees together, roll over, Adho Mukha 
So you're here. Your big toes are together. You're going to sit ideally on your heels, but if you can't get there, um, put some padding underneath your bottom. Reach forwards. Let your body come down and let the head rest down. How does it feel there now, Maz? Yeah? I'm coming back in. Okay? Yeah. So if I do that, is yeah. that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just the pressure on the, on the centre. It just floats. Here? Yeah. How's that if I do that? That's okay. <laughs> So if I do, I'm going to do this way. That, that, that action, OK. Long arms. Elbows in. <coughs> and then when you're ready, Adho Mukha dog head down. Now lift up through the hips and nice strong legs, thighs firm. Elbows in. Breathe. And then walk forwards or walk, walk your hands back and stand up. Right. Feet together, legs together. Outer thighs squeezing in, outer hips squeezing in, reach the arms down. Urdhva Hastasana in Tadasana. Take your thighs back, Neil. That's better. <laughs> Raise the arms up. Lengthen up. Elbows in, reach through to the fingertips. Check, look up. Are your palms facing each other and pretending you're holding an, invis an invisible block? And you're holding another invisible block between your elbows. And you're holding a very thin, invisible block between your thighs. And your toes are lengthening forwards. Reach up through the sides of the waist. And then exhale, lower the arms down. Step the feet hip distance apart. Press the outer blades of the feet down. And as you press the outside edges of the feet down, allow the weight to come also back into the heels. Look forwards, don't look down. Okay, so try and keep the gaze forwards. You're going to bring your arms so they're now directly above your feet. Turn the palms forwards. Now we're going to play a game. Stretch up your arms. Now stretch your arms from the sides of your waist. Now stretch your arms from your kneecaps. Now stretch your arms from your heels. Now be aware of the heels and the palms. Stay looking forwards, don't look at me. Breathe. Relax the back of the neck. Soften the shoulders and relax the face. Brendan, did you break your elbow? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Breathe. Keep that lift and lower the arms down. Now turn the palms out. Palms right out and open out the eyes of the armpit chest. Take the shoulder blades deep into the back. Yes. Now keep that sense of openness and squeeze the arms as if you're squeezing up through custard. Raise the arms up through custard. Up through custard. Up through custard. Now hold that custard. Breathe, stretch through the fingers. Do you remember Semolina? Oh. <laughs> squeeze the elbows together. Yes! <laughs> Don't think it was really black current. 
Breathe. Now turn the hands out and press down through custard. Oh, it's cold as it was served. <laughs> the skin is now two inches deep. Go down, go down, go down, go down and lift the chest. Now relax those arms, but just hold that space. Feel how the breath has changed in the chest? Yeah. Okay, so go Makarsan arms. You're going to take your left arm up your back and your right arm down your back. It doesn't matter if you can't reach. Morecambe and Wise started like this. Now, as you press down into that left foot, reach up into the right elbow, but keep both sides of the armpits long. So you're lifting up, and can you open up the eye of that left armpit? And then exhale, release. Reach the arms down. I can't remember which side we went, which way are we going now? <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right arm up the back, left arm reach up and come down. That was my brain resisting. My right arm doesn't like going up my back so much as my left. So open up the eye of now the right armpit. Levelize the armpits and now you're going to stretch from the right heel to the left elbow. So keep the eyes directly forwards, press the outer right heel down and lift up that left elbow. And then exhale, release. Okay, next thing. You're gonna turn, so you take your hand, bring it forwards. Now turn your, your, the action of the arm is from outside in, underneath. Take the arm up and still think, can I keep this turn? So just softly hold the skin that way. Softly hold the skin. Now reach up as much as you can and then bring the hand down to touch the back of your neck. Keeping the skin rolling this way, yes. Okay, can you feel the different action in the shoulder? Take the other arm, swoop it around your back. Keep the action going towards a little, so the back of the neck stays nice and broad. Navel in the centre, ribs in the centre, so balance yourself. Don't let your body be doing some kind of tango or salsa underneath. And then release. Reach the arms down. Second side, arm up. Use the arm just to guide the skin around and allow the fingers to lengthen. And then turn the arm back and reach down behind you. Right arm, bring it up your back. Open out the armpits, open out the eyes of the chest, keep the face soft. Breathe. Now from the outer heel of that right foot, just lift up again, navel in the center. Bring the chest back into the center. Relax the eyes and release the tongue. And exhale, let go. Garudasan arms. Entwine the arms, take your uh, left arm over the right. Left arm over the right. Yep. Don't try and grab the hand with this, this lower hand lengthen it up so both arms are moving up drop the shoulders down and move the hands away from the face breathe lift the elbows up as best you can but drop those shoulders and broaden the collarbones kneecaps lifted buttocks broad exhale release second side right arm over left Fingers long, drop the shoulders, levelize the chest, weight back in the heels, that's better. And then release. First side again, left arm over the right. It's all your favorites, Neil. Drop the shoulder. Drop that left shoulder down. So that top shoulder needs to come down. And then as you press that top arm down, you can then move the hands, if you can, away from the face a little bit and allow the shoulder blades to widen as you draw those shoulders down. So you're giving yourself some space across the back of the chest. Little toes down, blades of the feet down, toes long. 
and release. Second side. Fingers long, thumbs long. We're not trying to make emu. No, no, that's right. But then make the hands go up, straight up. So, no, no, look here. Let this lengthen. There you go. Yeah? Can you feel now that that's, now the tissues are, are kind of flowing more? If you bring that back down so the hands are connected, can you feel like there's like a block in the wrist? So you want to just, you want to make it, hang on. Okay. So you're here and they're trying to make themselves as long as possible because they are different lengths. Well, the same length, but because of the height difference at the base. Lift up, long fingers, Sally. Drop the shoulders down. Be aware where your shoulders are. So <laughs> BKS Iyengar said that every cell of the body has an eye. And so you have to become aware of every cell's eye to perform your yoga poses. And then exhale, release. Reach the arms down. So now you've got two um, invisible uh, beach balls here. Okay, you're now going to squeeze those beach balls in. If you're in last night's class, we put two bricks here and we held them. Okay, now squeeze them in, squeeze them in and let the eyes of the chest open. Press into those invisible beach balls. Mine are both rainbow colours. Go, even more. Open out the eyes of the chest more. Reach the fingers down more. Try not to bring too much tension into your wrists. So make the fingers long too. Breathe. Not too much tension into your wrists, particularly the right one. Right out through, that's better. And at ease. Interlace your fingers, have the interlace broad and reach those arms down. Neil, if you want to use a belt around your wrists, put a belt around the wrists. And then release, change the interlace, same again, open out the eyes of the chest. Nice wide open eyes. <laughs> Arms long. Just let this come back out. Okay? Is that all right? Yeah. That way. Not that way. Like that? Like that. Yeah. And then like that behind your back. Yeah, you got it. And then release. Tree pose. Ready? Pick up the right leg. You can just balance on one leg. You don't have to bring the leg right up. Foot to the top of the thigh. Look directly forwards. Now the game is, can you stay looking forwards and not look at your feet as we transition from one side to the next? Reach up through the arms and relax down through the face. Breathe. Elbows in and up. Thank you, Brendan. Lift up through the chest. Reach up, reach up, reach up. Keep the arms up. Release the leg down. Do not look down. Do not look down. Let your legs reach the floor. Extend up. Lower the arms down through semi-custard. Second side. Stay looking forwards. Try not to look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at anything. Look directly forwards. And even don't look there. Just keep the eyes broad and wide. Rikshasan, breathe, reach up, reach up, reach up, there, that's it, both arms, be long, keep reaching up, extend, release the leg down, arms lengthening up, and then arms down, stay looking forwards, don't look down, Brendan, you're out, <laughs> okay, ready, again, now you know the game, you can, you can have another go, you get one, one life. Again, Vrikshasan, so stay looking directly forwards. Stay looking directly forwards. Pick up the right leg. Stand tall. Find your balance and just softly lengthen up. Now you know when you feel like your pose is up. So if it's before I say the pose is up, the leg can come down, don't get frustrated, and just stand with the arms up. Stay looking directly forwards. I'm not there, so you can't look at me. Now release the right leg down, stay looking forwards. I'm watching all of your eyes, except for Lucy's, who's got sunnies on and Dan's. Try not to get distracted. 
Lower the arms down. Don't race ahead, Joseph. Reach down, let the chest open, open up the eyes of the eyes of the chest. Stay looking forwards, lift the left leg to you. Stay looking forwards, lift the left leg to you, foot to the thigh. Stay looking forwards best you can. Raise the arms up, lift up, try and stay looking forwards. Just stay in your body, stay looking forwards. Balancing on that leg, hip in. Standing leg strong. Sides of the waist lengthening. Breathe. Keep the arms up. Release the leg down. Stay looking forwards. Stay looking forwards. Lower the arms down. Stay looking forwards, stay, stay. Okay, trick on us and legs wide. You stand way heavier on your right foot than your left foot. I could tell because your mat had a big dent on the right foot and nothing underneath your left foot. Left toes in, whole of the right leg out to 90 degrees. This is such an amazing pose. Prashant wrote a whole book on it. Exhale, go down. Kneecaps lifted. Open out the chest, widen the collarbones, lovely. Let your heart open. Inhale, come up, bring the feet to face forwards, reach out the arms from the armpits, right toes in a little, whole of the left leg out to 90 degrees, draw up those thighs, press down through the feet, exhale, go down. Lengthen through both sides of the body, allow the spine to become long, feels okay Teresa? You all right? Yeah, good. You can turn the head to look up towards the top hand as long as it doesn't upset your neck. Drop your chin down a little bit, Roz. No, just towards the chest. That's it. And now lift your chest towards your face. Ah, that's better. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards. Reach out, legs together. Grip the legs together holding those very small now beach balls. They're tiny, We've, they've been here all summer. Weight back in the heels. Trikonasana again, legs apart. See so if you can take your legs a little wider to allow the spine to lengthen. Left foot in a little. Hold of the right leg out. I'd, I'd like you to press into the outer blade of that back foot and the heel, connect the heel down. Press the outer heel down a little more for me, Roz. A bit more, a bit more. Yes, okay. Exhale, go down. Now make the right side of the chest feel as even as the left. So you want to drop the left ribs down a little bit and lengthen the right side. And then turn the body around the spine. And then look up towards the top hand as long as it's comfortable and the back of the neck feels long. And if it's upsetting your eyes, just look directly forwards. Kate, look forwards. Do you want my sunglasses? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. And inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards. Now breathe and use your arms to help you breathe. So inhale into your palms. And exhale. As you inhale, inhale out into your palms again. Keep the palms there and exhale. Breathe through your nose. Turn the right toes in a little. Turn the left leg out to 90 degrees. Arches lifted. Ross, bring that foot slightly for further forward so it's on the line. A bit more. So the heel of the front foot's in line with the arch of the back foot. And now, can you take your back foot wider? It's here, yeah. That's it. Exhale, go down. 
As you go down, keep the length on that left side of the body. Check that your left knee is lifted, that your thigh is firm. Reach out across the collarbones again. Now breathe to your hands. Open out the eyes of the arm, um, the eyes of the chest. I was gonna say armpits. Bring your top hand slightly forwards, Julie, towards the top hand. Yep, that's better. Breathe, you're called Brendan, yours was fine. <laughs> Collarbones broad. Now steer the pose from your back leg. So make the back leg feel very powerful. And then inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards. Reach out, legs together. If you want to do Uttanasana, if you like half Uttanasana, hold the railings and reach yourself back, making sure that you've got a nice sensation of support underneath the abdomen. If, however, you're happy to do Uttanasana freestanding, put your hands to your hips, lift the chest, get a nice length, clasp your elbows, exhale, fold forwards and come down. When, it's, when you go to come up, press the feet down to come up from the hips. All right. When you're ready, raise the arms up. Have the feet hip distance apart. Check the feet. So become aware of how you're standing and know that you want the heels just a little bit wider than the toes, a little bit wider there. That's it. Toes turned in allows the pose to come a little more easily. And then exhale, go down. Balance out the weight through the body, through the hips. Take your right hip back, Maz. That way. Away from me. Sorry, left hip. Hang on. No, right hip. Yeah. A bit more. Go back. That's better. And then lengthen down here. And then inner groin here up. Change your clasp of the elbows. Breathe. Here, can you feel how you're resting onto the wrists? Yeah. So look forwards and just take the hands past that way. Yeah, now can you feel how it's nicer on the arms and your armpits are a little more open? And is it just looking straight down? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. You just you want the back of the neck to feel nice. Yeah, this is. Can you feel how this feels soft? You're not holding too much tension. You can let always let the head go down if you want, but it's nice to have it framed between the arms. And then hands to waist. Inhale, come up, or step forwards to come up. Yes, it's much easier. Okay, bring your legs together. Bring the feet together. Right, here's your time to shine. We got sideways stretch. Right, take your left arm. Turn the arm and bring it to touch your ear. Yes, now smell your armpit. Okay? Yeah, so <laughs> as, you, as you turn, so you're not re you don't really have to smell your armpit, but you want to keep the back of the neck long. So if I spin around, yeah, as we do our sideways stretch, we want to keep this length, so from the back of the neck across and around the shoulder, and then as we turn, whether we're looking back behind us or whether we have the tendency or the desire to look up, we've still kept that length. Okay, are you ready? Make sense? On your marks, get set, legs wide. Four and a half to five feet apart. Uh, take your left arm, turn it up, and now bring it to touch your ear again. So we're doing the same movement, same movement. Now, can you keep it there? You can drop this right hand down, turn your left toes in a little, turn the whole of the right leg out to 90 degrees. Now we're going to use the back leg as our anchor, so make sure that back leg feels strong. Turn your toes in just a little bit more for me, Vic. That's it. Arms still touching the ear, elbows still alive, wrists still long. Now bend the leg. Bend the leg and let your right elbow rest on your thigh. Keeping that arm where it is, yes. Okay, now, those of you that wish to, you can bring the hand down on the outside edge of the leg, be on the fingertips and reach through. Breathe, elbow in, arm long. Turn the head, look up towards the sky or back towards man's head. That's over that way. Yes. And then inhale, come up. 
Okay, now you can go home because that was a nice arm. <laughs> bring the feet to face forwards, reach out. Right arm, turn it up, bring it to touch your ear. Look towards the steps, pause me a car park. Right toes in a little, hole of the left leg, out. Exhale, bend the leg, back leg anchor. Elbow down, see how you feel as you come over. Julie, your right arm is bent. Yeah, how did it do that? <laughs> Slip your left hand down to the floor. Back leg is anchored. Breathe, outer blade of that back foot, press it down. Reach from the outside edge of the foot right through to the fingertips. Your legs are just, bring your knee back a little bit, Brendan. Yes, there you go. No, no, you don't need to change the distance. That was lovely, but keep that leg braced now. Breathe. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards, reach out. Open the chest, breathe into your hands, legs together. Reach the arms down. Okay, on your marks, get set. Same pose, we're just going into it where you went. If you want to go deeper, you can. Make sure your legs are wide enough. Ready? Utita Paj Rakonasan. Left foot in, right leg out. Leg, Dan, your legs are a bit too wide. <laughs> Exhale, bend the knee. Resist with the back leg. Resist, 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 resist. Hand down, come into the pose. Breathe. Now let that right groin just drop down so the heart lifts. Not too wide, Brendan. Outside edge of the back foot, you're a fraction too wide as well. Can you feel how you've lost the little toe side, Sheridan? Yes. So bring the arm over the head, Joseph. Straighten your arm, Roz. That's it. And then inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards, lower the arms down. When you were five and you knew the answer at school, I'm not saying when you were a teenager because it didn't happen. When you were a teenager, if you had to answer, you'd be writing, yeah, I know. When you were five, you really knew. So your right arm is really going to know the answer. Okay, which is that. Ready? Right toes in a little, hold of the left leg, out to 90 degrees. Reach the arms out, like both hands know the answers. Exhale, legs wider, Roz. Bend the leg. Now resist with that back leg, if we've forgotten the back leg. Keep the back leg strong, Sally. If you could do your legs wider, please. Come down into the pose. You don't have to come all the way down, Therese. You can rest or take the brick. Lift up through that inner thigh on your right leg there, Vic. That's better, yes and open up through the chest. Bring the arm to touch your ear, Joseph, like we've done all the way, all the other times. Where does it go? Turn it this way. That way. That way, yes, so we're creating space. Inhale, come up. That's amazing. Bring the feet to face forwards. Reach up through the body, reach out through the arms. Legs wide. Legs wide, legs together. That's because you jump your legs back out again. <laughs> Spun me out completely. Uttanasan. So back to the railings, those of you doing the railings, those of you going forwards, you're going to raise the arms up, reach up, and then exhale, fold forwards. Ardha Uttanasan, look forwards. As you look forwards, engage the inner thighs outwards. Press down through the outer hips into the heels and now keeping the length on the sides of the waist, go down into your Uttanasan. Breathe. Uh, this, put that in, yeah. Is that okay? Legs firm. Eyes of the knees, the backs of the knees, can you allow those to be open? Eyes of the hamstrings, can you allow those to be open? Can the calves stretch down into the heels? If you've got your hands on the floor, you don't need to change the clasp of the elbows. If you've got your elbows, change the clasp of your elbows. Toes long. And then hands to waist, inhale, come up. One more standing pose, Prasarita Padottanasan. Step your legs wide. Uh, think of your Prasarita Padottanasan like a table for your buttocks. Okay, and you're just, and the, your clothing is your tablecloth. So you're going to allow the tablecloth to spread out. Yeah, the inner, the inner legs of a table, 
are very strong, or the legs of the table are very strong, but then the tablecloth is being draped over. You can come to the fingertips, you can reach forwards, and then from there, once you've got that nice length, keep the tablecloth where it is and allow yourself to come down. All right, if you want to hold here, Ros, this is also very nice. You can hold the railings. Hands to the railings and reach forwards, arms long. If you want to go a little lower, they can come down a little bit further, but it gives a nice length to the body. So it's up to you. Now check, are both sides of your hips level? <laughs> Tuck this one in. No, 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 move that inwards. Yes. So now the spine is, in, it's only a very small amount, but. Now the hands come to the floor between the feet. <laughs> you get to look at Dan Sheridan, you lucky thing. <laughs> Has he got a nice happy resting face? <laughs> Keep the weight in the heels, weight in the heels, weight in the heels. So weight needs to come back just a fraction. That's it. And then really think, can you draw up in the legs and grip in from here? So make the legs really connect into the hips. Inhale, look forwards, lengthen, chest forwards, heel and toe the feet in towards each other. Step forwards and come up if you're on the railings. Stand up if you're on the floor. So, uh, one more thing. Neil, you look like you were holding on to something very fast. So I want you to, so our Prasarita Padotanas, if I show you this side, can you see I've got, you, I've got this line? All right, so please be aware when I do a demonstration, um, I do the best I can. <laughs> so sometimes I'm not as good as I'd like to think I am. All right. I'm hoping that my hips are going to stay over my ankles. I'm hoping. So I lift my chest and as I lift my chest, I get a nice length and there's a grip here. Now, where do we fold from? Not from here, but from here. So we press down, get the chest to lift, get the weight even, inner thighs out, and then we go forwards. Going forwards, going forwards, going forwards. Don't, I'm doing this in slow motion. You're just gonna think this is where I wanna be. Then you lengthen forwards. Then as you come down into the pose, keep that action. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Yeah? When it's time to come up, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Then from here, you come back up again. My hips moved then, I felt that. Yeah? but we want to try and keep it as still as possible. Obviously, it's a work in progress. Ready? Come back. <laughs> so, Neil, reach, come step in. No, no, step right in. Yep. Now step back, make your right angle, and then take the legs wide apart. You can wriggle them apart. Don't rub the soles of your feet off, though. So get the lift of the chest. If you've already done that, that's fine. Lift up. Be aware where the hips are. And then grip the legs, inner thighs to outer thighs. Yes, can you feel how that's changed the work there? Then go down from here, not from here. Toes long, legs firm, kneecaps lifted. That's better. And then just let the body go down. Breathe. Okay, don't worry about bending the legs. If you keep the legs straight, yeah. and now reach the arms forwards like dog head down, uh -huh. and that'll just start to feel a little nicer. Now legs firm, legs back here. Now reach, keep the legs firm, but reach those arms forwards. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, can you feel how that's giving yeah. you nice length? And the legs still feel strong. Are your hips still in the same place or have they fallen forwards? And then inhale, look forwards. Heel and toe the feet in towards each other. And you can stand up. Dog head down. Adam Mukhashvanasan. Stretch back. Legs firm, thighs back. Pressing down through the hands. 
Who feels like their hands are slipping? Yeah? Exhale, come down. Everybody down. I'm just, suddenly I was watching your hands, they looked like they were actually going that way a little. Yeah. So if I, can I use, can I try your mat? Okay, so let's find out. Yeah? So how do we do, how do we stop our hands from slipping? Most of us know now, don't we, some of us. Everybody come onto your hands and knees. Okay? Now, Adho Mukha Virasan, feel what happens to your hands. So those of you who know, that have got the action, just enjoy what we're going through now. Um, feel how, when you bring your shoulders over your hands, how the weight goes straight down into your hands. Can you feel that? Yeah? Now, can you make every base of the finger, so each, underneath every knuckle, the moons of the hands, can you press those down? And can you allow the back of the wrist to feel like it's being lifted up? Yes, that was nice, Roz. Okay, so now from here, you've got this lift of the back of the wrist, and can you feel now how the hand is completely connected? Keep that sensation, don't change that sensation, as you start to take your shoulders back for your Adho Mukha Virasana. As you do that, keep the back of the wrist lifted, the energy of the back of the wrist lifted, keep those hands down, hands connected, completely connected, completely connected, completely connected. Completely connected. Now, can you feel how the arms now feel like they're being pulled back? Don't lift those fingers, keep the hands connected. Can you feel how the armpits are being pulled back and the weight is now going backwards? Yeah, rather than the hands wanting to come up. Can you feel that, Vic? Okay, now inhale, come up. Back up again. All right, now, can you press those hands down strongly? Yeah, and now keep the back of the arms pressing forwards. So you're going to move the back of the arms forwards. So this is uh, Chaturangasan. Keep the back of the arms moving forwards as you go back again. Back of the arms moving forwards as you go back again. Now notice how there's a support through the sides of the body. Have you got that? Now keep the fingers connected. Fingers connected completely. Okay, now come up again. Now press the hands strongly into the floor. Back of the wrist, back of the arms, don't overdo it. You don't want to end up discombobulating something so that you don't want to push through something that feels odd. But you should feel that there's enough support of the arms that can allow the hands to press straight down but you can pull the arms away from um, the, the hands. Go back again one more time. Make sure your knees are happy. Okay, got that. Silence. And now come up again. Tuck the toes under. Do not lose that connection. Lift the hips, keep the hands pressing down. Now be aware that the pressure is also right through to the fingertips, all going straight down. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Let the legs work. Armpits open, eyes of the chest open. And then release. Did it feel different? Yeah? Okay, right. You're gonna lie on your backs, so you can go home and play with that then. Never a dull moment. Lie on your backs, cuddle your right knee in towards your chest, stretching your left heel away. Move to the capacity of your hip and thigh, but you're trying to bring that leg in, foot is soft, um, as tight as possible towards your body. And then just take the knee out to the side a little and draw it in again, but keep the tailbone in the center of the pose. And then exhale, release, lengthen your right leg away. Get a nice length through the whole of that hip. Bend up the left leg. Left leg in towards the body. So it's the, the, the knee is following the line of the buttock bone. And then allow that left knee just to come out to the side a little. 
Breathe. Legs firm. And then release. Okay, you can now bend up the right leg. You're gonna take hold, if you can, you're either cuddling that knee in again, or you're gonna take hold of the big toe Hook the, press the big toe into the fingers and stretch your right uh, left heel away. That's it, lie down, open out the chest. Breathe, get the tailbone in the center. Have the arm coming on the inside of the leg. That's it. Uh, right arm on the inside of the leg there, Sally, and then hold the toe. Yes. You want to, it's a compact feeling in the hips and you keep the tailbone in the center, Joseph. Yeah? That's better, yes. And then release. Sheridan, spin your head around. Joseph, spin your head around. Turn your head the other way, then you won't have the sun in your eyes. Second side, left leg. Do you know how to hold your big toe? That sounded like I was being taking the piss a little. I did, I wasn't, I'm not taking the piss. Let me just see. Okay, exhale, release. I've just got a little bit of toe grabbing information for you. When we hold our big toe, this is what I see when we're beginners, is that we grab the big toe, we pull the big toe towards us. Yeah? When you hold the big toe, Take your middle finger, hook it onto the toe, and then let the toe hook over. And then let the other index finger be sort of like the, the increase your speed button. What's it called? Accelerator. Yeah? Makes sense? So then the foot, can you feel how that's different? Mm -hmm. Now, what's magic about this is when you then go to straighten the leg, if you pull the toe that way and you straighten the leg, that's like having the belt on the ball of the foot. So you end up with a, a magnificent stretch of the calf. If you work through the leg this way, you'll get a dynamic action through the whole of the leg, which makes then the whole of the leg feel long and it allows the leg to feel like it's being drawn right back from the top of the thigh into the hip, which is a very different action. Okay, so there you go. So let's do the left leg, get the toe to hook over and pull that leg in. Very much like Akana Danyarasan. Just bend, no, keep the leg bent to begin with. All the way down, back to where it was. Yes, now just practice hooking the toe over. So it's just a different way. So tuck that hand right in, because you, mu you must do um, Utita Hasta Padangustasin. So hook that in, that's it. Yes, now lie down. And now point the toe just a little. And the foot, flex the foot. Yes, can you feel how that's gone deeper into the hip now? It's like coloring in. Okay, and then exhale, release. Right, we, most of us, if you've got a belt, you can use a belt for your um, Supta Padangustasan. If you haven't got a belt, then you can either hold behind the back of the thigh and straighten the leg up. Yeah? You can hold the sides of the thigh to straighten the leg up. So this completely depends on your flexibility. Or you can cuddle the knee in. If you're holding the toe, left hand comes onto the uh, left thigh. Extend down and then reach through that leg to bring the leg to Subta Padangustasan. Okay, so when you're ready, you choose. Breathe. Obviously, things like jumpers, scarves, sarongs can all help in action. You go, you get my favorite belt. Although I don't like D-wing clasps, it is my favourite belt. Straighten the leg, open out through the thighs. Let that leg feel beautifully long. Oh, thank you. 
and press the thigh back. Just hold that for a little longer, Kate. And release, change sides. Let this leg come to straight. Yes. So often when we, no, no, stay there. Leg, str leg straight. So allow the leg to feel long over, over thinking how far can I get my foot to my face. So to make the leg feel long, the leg needs to be straight. Can you feel how that feels unbroken? Yeah, now if you bring the leg further over and you bend it a little, can you feel how it just feels like the energy is, has yes. got a bend in it? So we want to feel like the energy is just flowing all the way through to the toes. Yes. Yeah. Breathe. Release and relax the eyes. Release and relax the tongue. Change legs now, Kate. You're going to end up with very long sleeves, Joseph. That'll be fine, because as your shoulders relax, you need, you'll need longer sleeves. I had a lady who had to change all her jumpers. Yeah. She know, well, not all of them, but some of them, she noticed start, had gone up about an inch on her waist, on her wrist. Okay, and then release. And then draw both knees in towards your chest. Cuddle the knees in close. And now bring your legs to Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together, knees wide, if the hips allow. Let the feet come to the floor. That's it. Just lying down. Release and relax the eyes, release and relax the tongue, soften the face. If it becomes uncomfortable, just stretch the legs away from your hips. Bring your body towards Joseph. Yeah, and take your right, uh, left hip down a little. Yes, yeah, like this just needs to come, your whole body needs to come across more. That's it. Yeah. Let the palms be up so the eyes of the chest are open. Let the hands be a little bit wide so that then you start to feel, yeah, that's better. And as the eyes of the chest open, so the neck lengthens. Let the eyes soften, let the tongue relax. As and when you're ready, slide your legs along the floor for Shavasana. If as you stretch the legs out, it doesn't feel like the back is taking to it so kindly, just bend up the legs and let the knees flop in. Let the breath be wide and smooth. Release the tongue and relax the face. Allow the body to relax completely. So now allow the fingers to be gently curled if they're open flat. So curl the fingers. So if you think as you're, if you're alert, your eyes are wide open. But here you want your palms not to be so alert, but just softly, softly resting there. Relax the cheeks. Relax the eyes. Release the tongue. Make sure that you're on the back of the head, the very center. Your head's not drifting off to one side or the other.
Allow the eyes to release back towards the skull. Allow your body to release back towards your mat. And the flow of energy should be from the crown of the head down through the spine, out through the soles of your feet. So allow the energy to release down to the soles of the feet. With each exhale, picture the energy releasing down to the soles of the feet. Allow the space between the eyebrows to be released, the temples to feel broad, and again the exhalation from the crown of the head down to the soles of the feet. When you're ready, take a deeper inhalation. Exhale, bend your elbows, place your hands on your belly. Connect into your heels, rolling those legs in one at a time, bend up the legs. And gently roll to your right side. Rest there. You can carefully sit yourselves up. Rest the hands on the thighs. Bring the hands to Namaskarasan. Remember those eyes of the chest. As you bring the hands to Namaskarasan, open out the eyes of the chest. So everything that we did um, yesterday. Eyes of the chest open. Balance the head on top of the spine. Lift up through the heart. Bow down through the head. Take a couple of breaths. Release the hands. Open the eyes and raise the face. Thank you. Sun's out. <laughs>